find the key thing in involving stakeholders is to make sure you have a means that when you're together, everybody, you can get everybody's ideas on the table, make sure everybody's voice is heard. That's especially important to make sure that you hear other people's language and you then work together to blend different languages and concepts together into a joint project and that helps build trust because people feel listened to. The way I do this is using Ketso, which is a hands-on toolkit for creative engagement that I invented that's literally hands-on, a physical way of getting everybody's ideas down, making sure everybody's voice is heard and they can see their ideas build up into a picture of what you're going to do together. I think it's important to get the stakeholders to realise that they are, they are genuinely partners it's not like empirical research where you have people who are purely research projects. They are partners in the process and so they should be involved in anything. Our project, which was looking at the criminal process and criminal liability of doctors, involves some things that were quite academic. Looking at the history, for example, of the laws on abortion. Things that had nothing to do with impact. But actually we found that the stakeholders in the impact part of the project enjoyed being there they enjoyed being part of the academic community as much as we enjoyed having them as part of our community trying to influence policy. I work with a lot of partners on, on the projects that I work on. One example was with the Museum of Science and Industry. I worked on a project called Turing Sunflowers and the goal was to get people growing sunflowers and counting number patterns in those sunflowers. Now everyone can get involved in this. It's really simple just putting a seed in the ground and growing that sunflower. But one of the challenges was to see how is your sunflower doing. So we used film, photography and social media and events so that people could find out how they were doing but also learn from others. So for me it's always about creating resources, using other people's resources so that you can make a difference to the project and enhance the impact of it. Well the first thing is to get to know them on their turf and the reason for doing that is first of all that you need to find out and where the knowledge gaps are and you also need to know about operational context. In our case we work with fire professionals, the fire service and land managers so we were invited to attend training exercises out on the moors and that's a very good way of building trust, getting to know people that you get wet and cold, um, you engage with them, you um, train with them basically, that's a really excellent way of building trust and getting to know how things actually work. You need to understand operational context, by that I mean your research has got to fit into their way of working, so you really need to know how that works. In order to involve industrial stakeholders, you start small with them. You build up trust by, for instance, having a PhD student with them and you demonstrate to them how you do research and how this research might help them to further the quality of their product or how they learn from this research to improve the product they manufacture. One of the most important things when working with industry is to have a strategy for how your work can be implemented. For example, we've worked with the nuclear industry to work out how to improve the safety case for the nuclear plant in the UK. So when you start doing research with industry, don't oversell the things you want to do. Be honest with them. It's important that you can deliver and it's important that you realise that this could be a long-term rather than only a short-term collaboration. So the main stakeholders in the public engagement work that I do are the University of Manchester obviously and then funders which in my case is the Royal Society and some money from the BBSRC and then of course the school. So with the school's project we were planning to conduct the project between February and April of the school year. So in order to conduct the project in the February we started talking to the school a whole year before which meant that the teachers were an integral part of the lesson planning and part of the whole collaborative process. Process. So it meant that we could build on the skills that the teachers wanted the pupils to acquire but also knew which skills the pupils already had which could then be part of the lesson, lesson planning process. When you're thinking about working with stakeholders in your research, it's really important that you both come to an agreed understanding of why you're working together. What are your expectations? What are their expectations? What do you need from each other? What sorts of roles and responsibilities? Who will take leadership at different stages of the research process? And really think beyond, I am giving them something. 
Actually, they are going to be giving you something. Together, you're going to be creating research, disseminating research, bringing others on board with the research process.